to make the nation one in whole, northern and southern soldiers fought one of the most destructive wars in history. A new nation built from the smoldering ashes of mind and body. Yet amid such turmoil, here and there, were human dramas that elevated stout heartedness. One such incident occurred in 1866 when a periodical, The Soldier's Friend, staged a contest. Union veterans who had lost their right arm during the war were invited to submit samples of their penmanship using their left hand. The magazine received hundreds of scribbled entries. First prize went to young Jesse Pendergrass. He was a 25-year-old cabinet maker when he enlisted in a Massachusetts regiment. Pendergrass submitted a 10-page memoir. Look at that writing. I challenge any of you to try and imagine it. He's doing it with his other hand. And in this memoir, he talks about his army service. And in a fight near Petersburg, Pendergrass was standing in an earthwork when he wrote, an enemy shell exploded and wounded me so badly that it was necessary to amputate my right arm. I also lost, he said, two fingers and the thumb of my left hand. Look at it. He hasn't got a writing arm. He's got a stump for a thumb, a stump for a forefinger and ring finger, and then he's got his, uh, no, the ring finger's okay, the middle finger's gone too, and yet he submitted that beautiful work of penmanship to win this uh, award. It's an incredible story.